icon, a great president who ever lived to this country. Speaker, even as we look outside there, mm -hmm. where the great man is lying, we will remember him for many things. So, Speaker, one of the issues that we remember Kibaki, the late Kibaki, with is the change of economy in this country, Mr. Speaker. I think when Kibaki took over, Mr. Speaker, this country was in shambles economically. There were no roads, there were no good schools, there was nothing in this country, Mr. Speaker, which we could be proud of as a nation. Kibaki changed everything, Mr. Speaker. The GDP of this country was changed completely to levels that we can never imagine. Mr. Speaker, the borrowing in this country was stopped to, and reduced to a level that when it left this nation, Mr. Speaker, this country was not relying on borrowing, unlike what we have currently. Mr. Speaker, he even helped to change the constitution of this country. I remember even before the change of the constitution, he was among those people who fought for multi-party democracy in this country, Mr. Speaker, and we must give it to him. Speaker, even the constitution itself, remember the constitutions are usually changed at times of war, but Kibaki changed the constitution when the country was calm because he accepted that if there, is, if there has to be a democracy in this country, that we as a nation must accept to change the law. Mr. Speaker, he did a lot in terms of infrastructure. I remember when we used to travel, when we used to travel from Narok to Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, we'd go all the way to Nakuru, through Kericho, and then to Kino and then to Nairobi. But after he took over, Mr. Speaker, he changed all the roads in this country so that each and every road was possible. Speaker, what Kibaki did in a few years, which I think it is only five years, he introduced even the free primary education, something which you can't imagine. The current government which has taken this country for 10 years has never even improved on the free primary education, Mr. Speaker, not even changing the free secondary education. Speaker, I wish to say, Lastly, that Kibaki will be remembered for so many things. And what I'm saying is, even as we remember this great man, those of us who are left behind, suppose this country gave you an opportunity to serve as a president, what will you leave behind? Will you leave a United Nation? Will you leave a country that is economically vibrant? Will you leave a country that will remember you for many good things? Or you will leave a country that will be in shambles? Speaker, that is a question that must live with us, even as we are closing the term of this five-year term of members of parliament going for another election. Speaker, may he Rosanna. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on behalf of my family and my great county of Nairobi, we want to uh, give our condolences to the family of uh, the late um, His Excellency uh, Moi Kibaki. Moi Kibaki. I want to quote Ellen G. White in her book, Education, The Greatest Want of the, Na 